Helen. For years, people have laughed at my research, but I have finally found something to prove them wrong. I have to go to Norway. Take good care of Sarga. Love, Dad. Alright folks, we're going to be playing Hidden Expedition Midgards and this is the 11th in the series. I have played, I think, all of the recent games, probably like the last five or so, I've lost track. I'm a huge fan of the Hidden Expedition series because learning is fun and fact cards are fun. So here we are, I'm actually doing this live in front of the lovely folks at Hitbox as well as uh, Twitch and YouTube. We're doing this three ways, folks. Uh, for those of you that are watching this after the fact on YouTube, oh, so sad. You gotta come hang out with us on Sundays, one o'clock Toronto time. We have a blast. So that's that. We're gonna get into this. Uh, Norway sounds interesting, and no, that's not Canada. Although Northern Canada, I guess, maybe would work too. But we're gonna go ahead and, uh, what are we gonna do? Let's just go more games for here for a split second. So this is, of course, an Epix joint, and uh, they have made uh, quite a lot of games here and taken over for, like, Dark Parables being a good, good example of other developers. And I do love their opening movie. It is super epic. So I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's hit that play button. So we got easy, medium, hard, and custom. Lots and lots of options for you to customize your experience. This uh, laptop has no numpad over here. Maybe it's like a micro laptop. Welcome, students. My name is Helen Schumann. I am the CEO of Saga, the world leader in geological research. Please, make yourselves comfortable. I'll try to make this lecture. Well, as interesting as possible for you, our future health agents. Is it me, or is it a bit stuffy in here? No, I think it's you, actually. Uh, yes, this is a brand new game. This game came out uh, just a few days ago, I think. I mean, at the time, I'm playing it right now, of course. Would we like interactive help? Uh, special features would be nice, thank you. Professor Nancy? <laughs> Maybe 32 games of Nancy. No more though. Artifacts of unknown origin are often found at dig sites. We employ experts to help us identify them. Today, your senior and well-seasoned help colleague will help me walk you through this process. Ready when you are, Agent. Yes, I do believe that is uh, Lenny Minnelli, or Nancy Drew's uh, voice. Lucky me, when I joined this secret organization, I didn't expect it to come with a spotlight. I, I just, uh, I mentioned this previously, and I'm not sure when we stop calling it Nancy's voice, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just... I don't know, it feels kind of odd to me, knowing that she's not doing it anymore. I, I imagine her as, like, an actor, like... She's typecast as Nancy, right? <laughs> I don't know if that's... I mean, I guess it was for 15 years, right? She did the voice of Nancy Drew. That's a long time. 
Alright, let's get our multi-tool out here. And the interesting thing about her is that she didn't just do Nancy Drew. She did, like, hundreds and hundreds of other voices in other video games. It's just that she was known for Nancy Drew. So we have our help box to view our current objective. Close the help box by pressing the X button. We just got in here. So we have to assist Helen Schumann. So we have this uh, pen knife, which is good, I suppose. Hmm. Let's see what's over here. Darn gate code, I just can't remember it. And when I wrote it down, they labeled it a security breach. This time, it's just a hint. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and steal that. There, oh, you can hear the crowd. Listen. And we got glitter, but before we do that, we're gonna go over here. Uh, we're gonna be looking for collectibles. We'll have to figure what, out what those are. I'm thinking it's this thing here. Aha! So there you go, folks. For you th that are watching along with me, don't forget to shout out those collectibles as soon as you spot them. And uh, that would be great. <laughs> the crowd's ready to go to sleep. Yeah, maybe. Saga. Geological Exploration Company. Ah, Helen's father. Where does he went? A bit bananas in his last days and secluded himself completely. Hmm. Interesting. We're gonna take this ruby with us because we can. All right, let's go do some Galetta. First, we have a Roman legionary helmet made during the reign of Emperor Caligula. Ah, yes, that's right, folks. So it's epics, so that means we have morphing objects in the scenes. Please don't be shy. Shout them out when you do spot them. Uh, just remember, like, if you're in this situation, you're like, it's the boat. I'm not sure how that helps me. Like, if you're like, it's the boat up in the right top corner by the... So like, give me a little bit more than it's a boat. It definitely makes it a little easier to follow along with what you guys are talking about here. Uh, what do we got here? Roman legionary helmet. What does that look like? Right there. Here's an Egyptian canopic jar. These were used to preserve their owner's organs for the afterlife. That would be what? What is that? This thing? No. Oh, I gotta put a lid on it. Where's the lid? Hmm. Aha, that's right. Shaped like a bird. Our next item is a tanto. It's a type of Japanese dagger used by samurais. A Japanese dagger. We need to put a cover on it. All these collectibles. These are probably worth a fortune. These coins are from the 12th century Venice. They were called ducats, which was short for the Duke's coins. Coins for days. Oh, looks like we need three. This Turkish spearhead is from the 16th century. It was used by the Ottomans' elite cavalry. A decorative crozier, more commonly known as a bishop's staff, was recently found in Scotland. Scotland. It's a crozier. This Toltec Empire stone head was found in Mexico. Their sacrificial ceremonies cast a shadow on their prosperous civilization. Stone head. Hmm. What would that be? Aha! There we go. Hmm. This is strange. There's a figurine of Odin's eight-legged horse Sleipnir on the table, but it's not on my list. <laughs> what did she say? Leipnir? Leipnir? Do you not pronounce the S? Or is Sleipnir? We have the eight-legged horse. Checked, and there's no mention of it. Nevertheless, this is a great opportunity to learn something about Norse mythology. Agent, please take it to the machine and initiate the scan. Uh, yes, I am part Scottish. That is correct. My father is Scottish. 
All right, let's go ahead and analyze the pony. Oh, am I supposed to click a button? Uh-oh. It's coughing up smoke. <laughs> no, I don't have a good Scottish accent. No. Auction. Uh-oh. Watch out for the gas. I love the heartbeat. That's crazy. Isn't that amazing, Heartbeat? Hmm. Everyone's dropping like flies, and the saboteur made a run for it. Quick, put that on your nose. Cloth will work. I just need to wet it, sure. Yeah, we definitely put the audience to sleep now. Hey, wait, it wasn't me. No way. That's better now. Why isn't the ventilation system clearing the gas? Hit the switch. Aw, shoot. If I could reach that, it'd be in a... I'd be in a different profession. What if I use my halberd? Uh-oh, now it's dark. Somebody has got this thing all blocked up here. The heartbeat is like listening to your home. There you go. The eight-legged pony had gas in its belly. There, everyone should be fine now. I should chase that man down. Totally asleep here. Way to go. We've put the audience asleep. Our vault's been robbed. I tried calling for backup, but the signal's dead. It's up to us to stop them. They must be using some top-notch jamming tech if they manage to block help comms. What else we got? What else we see? I'll access the damage later. Right now, Sam needs my help. Okay, let's go chase Sam then. We've got to shut that gate before he gets away. Go! I'll cover you. Okay. Shut the gate. Oh, so it's one of these things, I think. Oh, man. Wait, 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 what? Oh, jeez. Uh... Let's see if this works. Quick, unlock the gate! Just in time, another second that car would have picked up... The saboteur? That bought us some time. Take this key card to get the tracking gun from my office. We need to mark their car. Hmm. Find the tracking gun and mark the vehicle. Thank you, good sir. Whoa, gunfire! I think we have to go back now. To his office. Rumor has it old Henrik was quite the jewelry lover. Here, break it, break it. Oh. Sam must have triggered the alarm, but nothing's happening. It's either broken or the saboteur took care of it. Okay, let's open up the door here. Open, please. Let's go inside. The brief I had here this morning didn't cover an attack on help. Now where does Sam keep his gadgets? Good question. I would like to have a map, please, and some duct tape. Interesting. You like that office? It's a lovely office, I agree. There's our tracking gun. Okay, we're not ready to open any of that yet. 
<gasps> fat cards! Gotta love those fat cards. Hidden Expedition, fat cards. Edutainment, indeed. This is a beautiful view here. Oh man, this is nasty. What do they call this? Iron Brazier, I think. Creepy miniature replica. Victims would be locked inside the pool and heated to death. Yes, fat cards. Fact cards. Okay, where is our collectible in here? Yeah, I can come back to that. Not seeing it. Cool killer, welcome to the live stream. Gail, go outside here. Here. Oh. I'm out of ammo. Hurry, mark their car with the tracking gun. I'm working on it. Give me a. Hang on. Oh, wow, I gotta do this, do I? Nice shot. Bullseye. Let's give them a head start so they think they're safe. That should lower their guard. Check the vault. See if you can find out what they're after. I'll see if anyone's wounded. Grab the GPS from the vault, too. We'll need it to find them. Search the vault, grab the GPS, got it. There's always an errand to do when Sam's around. Why won't Sam do it himself here? Ooh, hello, robot. Got myself a robo arm. I think that would work there just nicely. Uh, oh, wait, Sam sees what the thieves to do is ride. I might be able to fix it before he notices. Maybe we'll use the wrench first. Come on. Tighten that back up. So we're not quite ready to ride the rocket here. Aha! Do we keep the robot arm? We do! Nephrodite head and robot arm. We are in business here. <gasps> Hot coffee! Now, where was that? Here it is. Old school cassette tape here. I remember a certain statue that loved jewelry. Fact card. And a puzzle. Yes, excellent. Yes, special hello to all you folks that are watching for the very first time. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Uh, this is what we do every Sunday. Okay, so I remember this from playing the beta. Ugh. Yikes. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Um. Hmm. How do I... Oh, no. Okay, so I'm gonna have to reset this. Oh, you think I skipped this one in the beta? Uh-oh. That's gonna be a lot of pressure. How do I... Oh, you... Um... Hmm. How do I... So if I... It's like it only goes in one direction. This is crazy puzzle. <laughs> How do I get this one over there? Um, so... This one won't move. Oh, crud. Wow. I am struggling with this one. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Zesty deal. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. So what do you think? What am I doing here that's missing? I think 